What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my five quart Ninja Foodie, which is basically a Ninja Foodie Mini. I got these two cut foil sheets. You can get them at your supermarket or even the Dollar Tree. And this is the perfect size to wrap your turkey legs. A medium sized turkey leg, not like a big old bedrock Flintstone one. <laughs> right? You want to season your turkey legs nice and good. Go ahead and pull the skin back a little. Give it a spray with some oil so that our seasoning will stick. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that. And season it whatever seasonings you like. Today I'm going to go Caribbean style. So I got my Jamaican Choice Flavor Enhancer, which is like a salty flavor. And this is an awesome mix right here. Garlic, scallion, and allspice combined. Link will be in the description to those if Amazon still sells. I know they sell it off and on, but <clears throat> if they have it, I'll have it in the description. If not, you might want to check your local Asian market. I know they may have it. They have everything for some reason. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to season both sides. Rub it in. Make sure it's nice and good. And this is going to cook for about uh, four to four, I'd say about four to four and a half hours on high. It should be good to go. And you know what? I do usually put some smoked paprika in there uh, for coloring and some added flavor. Yeah. And once you got it seasoned to your liking, guys, you just take it and roll it. You roll with it. Alright, guys. So just for kicks and giggles before we even begin, I got my Ninja branded um, glass lid on. Now, why I did that is previous pressure cookers like my Instant Pots and my other, any other brand that can slow cook will allow me to slow cook high or low with a glass lid. I've, I've noticed my Ninja Foodie, I wasn't able to do that. Didn't read the manual on this. I never read the manual, guys. That's just the way it goes. So let me just see if that works with this one. And if not, no problem. We'll get the, uh, the pressure cooker lid and, and, see, uh, and close it, but let's just see. All right, got it on. Slow cook. We want it on high. I want, I'll do, I'm going to do four and a half. That should be good. Let me hit start and see what happens. Uh-oh. Okay. That is awesome. I am pleasantly surprised. Well, I'll be back in four and a half hours. <laughs> okay, guys, we've got about seven minutes left. I'm just multitasking, guys. All right, guys, we are done. So we're looking like guys. I'm gonna let it cool off a bit, but I'm just gonna let you take a quick look at what it looks like. And believe me, guys, this is fall off the fork tender. Trust me. Now, some of my new subscribers have never yet seen me make slow cooker turkey legs, and they don't even know what fall off the fork means. Well, I'm just going to show everyone right now. You ready? I even have a plastic fork this time. And I'm just going to show you how it just comes right off. 
just no effort. Four and a half hours. Hi. This could be you. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. You saw the paper towel go up, so you know it's time to eat. I got some cauliflower mash under the turkey leg, guys. And you see me make the corn. That's sweet corn from frozen. But anyway, let's get a let's get a bite of this turkey leg, y'all. It's gonna melt right in your mouth. You first. You got it? Mmm. So tender. It's just so tender. So juicy. So much flavor. Take another bite. Mmm. This is just too good. Too much flavor. Well, that's right. Some of y'all want some of this corn. I'm gonna give you the corn, then I'm gonna give you some with the with the mash. You got it. Perfect. It's got that charred taste to it. Fantastic. Could have did the corn in my um ninja foodie, of course, on saute, but. I wanted to speed up the process, so everything here could have been done in the um, foodie. Well, the cauliflower mash, that was from Frozen, and I microwaved it. You got it? I use all my gadgets to get the job done. We're going to have a multi-bite, y'all. First, let's get some turkey leg. Mm. Two bites. Then we're gonna follow with this. Mm. Fantastic. Well, you know I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. This is fun, and I really wasn't even gonna shoot a video on this. This is just I just realized um, as I was coming home from the supermarket that I didn't test out the slow uh, cook function on this mini uh, foodie so I was like you know what some people might have questions or just wondering how if it worked effectively or whatever but works just like any other slow cooker that I've used so it's definitely a go everything I did I'll leave in the description so you could follow along if, if you want to these are medium-sized turkey legs so um, and what else what else oh most importantly, if you have this Ninja Foodie or any Ninja Foodie, whether it be a 6 quart, 8 quart, Pro, uh, Mini, consider joining my Ninja Foodie group. It's called Ninja Foodie Nation. And pretty much it deals with all Ninja Foodie products, not just the Ninja Foodie, but all Ninja products. So definitely come in there. Show us what you like to make in your Ninja Gadget. We'd love to see it. Guys, if you have an Instagram or TikTok, look me up on those platforms, Cooking with Doug. But that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug, and we out.